sex has a lot to do with power dynamics. Yes. And um, when you're put into a situation where you're like physically abused, all of your power is completely taken away from you. And right. that's kind of what the person gets off on. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you're engaging in rough sex with somebody consensually, you have now all the power in your court. I mean, mm -hmm. you're trusting them to abide by your boundaries and blah, 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 blah. But you still have the power to stop it whenever you want. You can walk away whenever you want. You can end it the moment that you're uncomfortable. And mm -hmm. I think that knowing that is the reason that girls are able to feel comfortable and almost kind of blissfully submit into this experience um, because they know they have the power in that situation. So I want to ask you actually about... Um you enjoying rough sex mm -hmm. because there's a lot of people who feel like you know you hear the age-old porn is degrading to women mm -hmm. look at these examples of these rough scenes where girls are getting like choked and like dick slapped and all this kind of stuff i had somebody post this comment on my youtube channel the other day and they were like why is all porn like this like why do women always have to be victimized mm -hmm. and i was like trying to explain to them, like some girls actually enjoy this kind of sex play. And so can you maybe like tell us a little bit more about that and, and why you enjoy it? Mm -hmm. And do you like talk to your partner first about kind of how far they can take it? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So for me, like if I'm, if I'm engaging in rough sex with somebody, I always try to talk with them before mm -hmm. just because I do have a past of like physical abuse. And so like there are certain things for me that like it can take it a little too far and can ruin the entire can, like, mood of everything. Can trigger you? Okay. Yeah. And it's uh, like maybe specific actions. Exactly. Okay. And so I'll always uh, be very vocal with the person before like, hey, just don't say certain things like this. You know, don't do certain things like that, blah, 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 blah. And like we can have all the fun in the world. And mm -hmm. then um, the, I mean, the, one of the main reasons that I enjoy it personally is probably because I was physically abused in my past and it kind of gives me an outlet to be in control of that, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. So it, yeah. it kind of turns something that was a bad experience for me into something that's enjoyable. Mm -hmm. um, and also I'm a very intense person. Like I have a lot of fire in me, especially when I'm having sex. Mm -hmm. And so that can kind of translate into like this roughness. Mm -hmm. um, and I think having somebody that kind of matches that energy with me uh, makes me enjoy it more because I feel like we're both kind of indulging in this really intense, really passionate, very kind of primal act with each other where it's like rough and intense. And um, also when you're doing that, you have to be very in tune with each other because you have to be very aware um, of each other's bodies, especially when you're doing a lot of rough stuff. So I think it kind of brings that intensity to like a higher level as mm -hmm. far as like connection and passion and just overall intensity. So for me... I just like that kind of fiery like thing that goes with it um, and probably just the really primal like part of like being dominated as well. Um, I find it, I love that you talked about how having that kind of sex actually makes you be more connected with your partner because mm -hmm. they need to be able to kind of read you and because it's so intense. Whereas I think most people think of it the opposite way whereas like you're really disconnected and like the woman is just an object of like this man's internal anger right so so it's interesting that you you put it in that way because i think so many people can't see it that it could be mm -hmm. like that and it's also so interesting to me and i hear this from a lot of people and i am by no means <laughs> a psychologist or anything <laughs> like that but i find that a lot of people talk about using sex and porn to kind of help them heal from trauma almost but in a lot of cases maybe reenacting something similar to whatever trauma mm -hmm. that they had but within like a safe space with certain boundaries and parameters set so that you know that you can like reenact this for whatever reason and again I don't understand human psychology specifically but <laughs> It's like, it's safe for you again. Yeah, and I think it has a lot to do with, with power as well because mm. um, sex has a lot to do with power dynamics. Yes. And um, when you're put into a situation where you're like physically abused, all of your power is completely taken away from you. And right. that's kind of what the person gets off on. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you're engaging in rough sex with somebody consensually, you have now all the power in your court. 
I mean, mm-hmm. you're trusting them to abide by your boundaries and blah, 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 blah. But you still have the power to stop it whenever you want. You can walk away whenever you want. You can end it the moment that you're uncomfortable. And mm-hmm. I think that knowing that is the w- reason that girls are able to feel comfortable and almost kind of blissfully submit into this experience um, because they know they have the power in that situation. Yeah. And, and I, th- th- I think that for me is huge when it absolutely. comes to rough sex. And, and especially on a porn set, which, again, I know mm-hmm. a lot of people think is the opposite. But when you're on a porn set, you're on a production set. So you're surrounded by people. Mm-hmm. So there's no way that this one person is going to take you past your boundaries. You're going to try to stop it. And he's going to essentially not allow you and hold you down. And You know what I mean? Like, you mm-hmm. have this safety net. This is obviously assuming that you're working with a reputable company and good right. people. Because <laughs> I know that people have had different experiences with bad directors or whatever. But, you know, you have, like an audience there and everybody's working together to create this production. Mm -hmm. So like communications, like the most important thing. Yes. It's huge. And, um, the company that, um, I direct for, we should do a lot of rough sex and we always try to talk to the girls before a lot, Mm -hmm. like very, very transparent, very open. Like this is everything that's happening. We want to know all of your boundaries so the second that we see them being crossed, we can step in and say something in case for whatever reason we don't hear you, something happens, you know, X, Y, Z. Right. And it's just taking care of people on set. You know, the more you take care of your talent, the more willing they are going to be to give you a really great scene. So. Right. And if they feel safe, then exactly. they can kind of lose themselves in the scene and, and It enjoy comes out so more. much better. Yeah. So that's a great segue into my next question, <laughs> asking you about directing, because you are directing now, and you're directing for Caden Cross for Deeper, yes, which is awesome, which is like a BDSM site, right? That's what um, you would call yeah, it? Yeah, I would say it's like, um, I would say it's more along the lines of like female erotica. We, mm-hmm. we try to really focus on like what women are kind of wanting to see. I mean, obviously, a lot of our members are males, but... Um, I would say it's BDSM for women Mm -hmm. um, because it's not going to be like your typical um, woman roles. A lot of the roles that the women have are like more in power. It's fantasies that they want to be fulfilling, things Mm -hmm. like that. And I I think even for our male viewers, I think that's very sexy because I think just having or seeing a woman that knows what she wants is kind of very... I I wonder, too, if some people who feel guilty about watching porn, because we know there are a lot of them out there, Mm -hmm. if a man sees a scene where they see that the woman has agency and that she has power, it it helps alleviate some of that guilt that they might be engaging in something that's Mm -hmm. victimizing women. I think the best way that my boyfriend put it for me is that he makes porn that it looks like the women are actually enjoying it. Yeah. Like, they're the ones that actually are fulfilling the fantasies. Right. And they're the ones that want to be there and... And I think that is what makes the site so great and such a great thing for me to write for is because I love that it puts the women kind of like in that power mm-hmm. position. Even if they're in like a submission type of role, they're still the ones that are putting themselves there because they right. want to be for whatever reason. Yeah, I mean, anybody who understands the BDSM world knows that the submissive has all the power because the sub sets all the boundaries and the mm-hmm. sub, you know, they, they're the one who creates, like, the structure of exactly whatever you're going to do. Like, the dom has to always abide by whatever the sub's limits are, and mm-hmm. then you can play within that those boundaries. Yeah. It's a, it's a very um, – it's a very – it's like a dance almost, mm. you know, back and forth. It's, it's very balanced um, as far as power goes yeah. both ways. And it, it's playing with that power back and forth, and that's the soul of BDSM is just playing with that power yeah. and kind of – you know, seeing different ways that you can use it. And uh, I think that's what really, like, makes the intensity of the scene is just seeing it kind of, like, bounce back and forth between Mm -hmm. two people, whether they're a dom or a sub. Yeah. I mean, power dynamics between people are are really interesting. And it, you know, obviously seeps into all other aspects of our life. Everything, you know, we're, we're social animals. We all live in this pecking order world. So, like what better place to kind of either switch up those roles or explore those roles more so is in the bedroom, you Mm -hmm. know, sex is like our most primal action. And then you bring in like the social aspects of like human behavior into that. And it's just like this really interesting intoxicating mix, which I think makes BDSM really interesting. It also feels like a very like cerebral form of sex. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more mental for sure. Yeah. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.